Paddy and I are just driving to a tuxedo appointment. He's going to try on some tuxedos for the first time for our wedding. And are they all called tuxedo? I thought it, I was just trying on suits. Yeah, I don't know. I think they just call it that if it's like if you want to go with a complete outfit, like the waistcoat and stuff. I'm not sure. The first shop we're going to is called Leading Man, and I actually chose my wedding dress from their sister company, Lisa's Bridal, and they were absolutely lovely in there. So I'm actually really excited for this experience. And then we're also going to Debonair, which is just next door. So we'll see if he likes any. The other thing is you're after quite, not an unusual color, but like, it's like a tan color we're thinking. So it'd be interesting to see if you actually like that when you try it on. Mm. And I don't think the stores carry many in this color because the majority of them will be like black blue and grey I guess so yeah I just want I just don't want something that's like dark no for like a summer wedding by the ocean I think a lighter one and also it will go better with the bridesmaid dresses and what do you reckon do you think you go brown shoes or black shoes brown brown shoes yeah I just think those trousers are they need to be slightly higher and slightly fitted <laughs> Paddy's bum looking really peachy in these. Alright, do a do a full spin then. We need to put a bow tie on really as well. The trousers are quite a nice fit at the bottom like that, like a bit. When you say the bottom you mean the bottom of the trousers, not Yeah, not, not, not the dome. And let's just maybe just paired with black. I think I prefer the lighter buttons on it. I'm having to breathe in. Well, that was successful. Tried on two different suits and different sizes, and probably leaning towards the second one more. Would you say? Yeah, I think so. It was uh, much cooler. But then I do worry that it was because of the. So it was actually just temperature-wise colder. Yeah. Than that. So the first shop was just really warm. Like I was just in this blouse and I was too hot and the sun was beaming through the windows. Then in the second store I had a cardigan on with this <laughs> and I wasn't too hot. <laughs> Basically, Paddy's groomsmen, none of them are in Canada. One's in the US and the rest are in the UK. So it just means that if we're going with e either store, they seem really flexible. You can go in like the day before or two days before, can't you? Get your final measurements. They can submit their measurements online and everything. So it just makes it way more easier and doable. The second suit he tried on, the jacket and shirt and everything looks so good, like fit-wise, but the trousers and walked out, I was like, your bum's looking very peachy in there. It was too tight. I was a bit embarrassed. I, I was kind of too embarrassed to tell the lady that um, the trousers were too tight for me and I'm too fat to wear them. <laughs> oh, no. So I just squeezed into them instead. <laughs> <laughs> And like we thought, like, oh no, going for a suit this colour, the pockets, like you could see the pocket lining through, but then she was like, I think that's just because it was too tight, hopefully. <laughs> back to the harsh lighting that can be found in the gym in our apartment building. I have just come down here, it's 8pm, it's absolutely pitch black outside. I've just made sure all the blinds are closed because it was creeping me out. Not that this road is busy. I've come down here for the first time in what feels like ages. Like I'm thinking it must be a week and a half. I have been so bad at working out. I haven't felt like I've, what is, what's it called? Fallen off the bandwagon? 
this bad in a long time i just you know when you're busy you're not prioritizing it i keep thinking and i keep writing on my to-do list to go to the gym and then it reaches the evening and you're just tired and it gets too late so i'm really really set on going once a day for the next um let's see five or six days and then I've got my friend's hen party, her bachelorette next weekend. So I'm sure we'll be doing a lot of drinking and then the next week be healthy again. I just wanna feel better. Like I've just been feeling a bit disgusting and gross just sitting around so much. And then I'm also going to be sitting down more than usual in a couple of weeks time. And I will explain why. <laughs> in an upcoming video. We've obviously also got our wedding on the horizon. It is eight and a half months away. And I know it's such a cliche that people like try to lose weight before their wedding. I'm actually not trying to lose weight. In fact, I'm going to be putting on weight because I've found that when I've not been exercising, I've just been home where I've actually lost like a kilogram or a kilogram and a half. It's just muscle, like I'm losing muscle. So actually if anything i want to be <laughs> growing my booty again and building some muscle and just like feeling my healthiest and happiest because i think that way i'll just feel more confident and nice on the day and i think that shows in photos and everything so for me it's not about like losing weight being skinnier it's about feeling your best and then hopefully that means I'll look my best. I don't know, it's for sure a good motivating thing on the horizon anyway. Okay, enough waffling. Let's start this little workout. is complete and I'm feeling so much better already I always just think to myself why have you been putting this off for so long it feels so good to move more Quentin come on good boy let's come inside now then Oh my gosh, as I was walking down the hallway back from the gym, I could hear Quentin. I don't know if any cat owners will know what I mean, but cats can like yodel. He was like yodeling so loud. I could hear him our hallways really long, you would have just seen. And I could hear him before I turned the corner. How do you reckon that they just love the acoustics in this hallway? Because we don't have, like, we need to get, like, a little bench to sit and put our shoes on. So there's not much furniture in here. And I guess, I don't know, they just yodel here and it's really loud. Now he's playing with his mouse. I opened the door and he just wanted to run out into the hallway. So I don't know. <laughs> Are you playing with your mouse? Oh, I just heard a firework. Is that what's scaring you, Poppet? Halloween fireworks. It's okay. I'm home now, it's okay to tidy up. Daddy's left all his things around the place as he left for lacrosse. Daddy playing lacrosse? Yeah, it's just fireworks, Poppet. You don't mind, do you? You don't mind. Okay, I can hear fireworks outside because it's Halloween weekend that is maybe making him feel a bit unsettled so what i might do is put the tv on i'll just be home for the rest of the night now anyway we need to tidy up oh my gosh look how awful this kitchen is our dishwasher stopped working it wasn't draining gosh it's the most boring thing to talk about but we i opened it up and it i, I think i mentioned it actually in my last video it basically hasn't been working and so today we've been trying to fix it and it's just like yesterday, you know, and you just like, 
I just can't be bothered to deal with this right now. So we've been trying to fix it today. So hopefully we can put all this in a dishwasher and if not, I need to get washing up again. <laughs> this magical forest light looks so cool on here. Wish it came up like that in our photos. Dragged Paddy into the forest. <laughs> that sounds really weird. <laughs> Look at you. playing with a leaf. <laughs> Look at the light. It does look like a nice light, doesn't it? Yeah. Wait, hold still here because actually I'll, I'll use this maybe for the um, thingy. Sm thumbnail. Just smile. Crouch down so you're in the good light. Yeah, after recording, I need to say hi and so. <laughs> Smile. Paddy's being an Insta boyfriend for a few hours today in between his haircuts. Right, we do actually need to rush now because I need you to take. Woo! Need you to take some more photos. Thank you. Before the sunset. Thank you so much. <laughs> you look the part, don't you? Oh, you have taught me how to. Work my way around the camera these days. <laughs> so Paddy's just been my photographer shooting downtown. We have like eight minutes before one of his favorite coffee shops closes, so I promised we can run there and try to make it. It's happening as we were something. <laughs> he said Insta husbanding has to be worth something. The sky looks gorgeous here. We secured the goods from Super Veloce Banana Shop. A super vulture. Yeah. Oh, I tried. <laughs> At least I didn't say super veloce, which is what I originally thought it was. Super veloce? I don't know. Now you're confused. Did I correct you? You corrected me. What, a super veloce. Veloce. Yeah. Yeah, you said it's super veloce. No, yeah, I think that's it's that's veloce. A super vulture, didn't I? <laughs> I don't which know. Is incorrect. It's super veloce. Oh, this looks cool. Look. Anyway, these are the vegan ones. Banana, chocolate, cacao nibs, almond butter and protein powder. So we bad, had yeah. vouchers from an event we went to there a while ago and they expired today, which we didn't realise it was made to be. It was indeed. Good shout. I haven't really vlogged much today. Well, not at all. This is the first time I'm coming on here because I've essentially just looked like this today and I'm just getting through my to-do list, but it's been a good productive day. I've also been organizing my friend Rev's hen party, which is this coming weekend. Oh my gosh, Bella just ran head first into the door. Hope you're not scratching the carpet in there. <laughs> her urine test results came back today and everything's all good so she can have her surgery tomorrow to remove her eye she's already blind in that eye for anyone who's hearing about this for the first time but I'm still obviously worried about her it's so horrible because she doesn't know what's coming and you just feel really bad but it's for the best it's for her own good so that's happening tomorrow and she spent so much of yesterday hiding under our bed because of the, oh I presume it's because she could hear the fireworks outside and she wasn't sure what it was. So she's really making up for it today. Oh my gosh, she's got limitless energy and she has just wanted to cuddle all day long. Like every time I sit down to do some work, she's up there in my face walking on my laptop. She's making up for yesterday, that's for sure. So I really want to get her a nice dinner tonight just to treat her before her cutoff time because she has to stop eating at 11 p.m. I think it is. And because she'll have her surgery tomorrow and then she'll be wearing a cone on her head for a while, bless her. I've been planning the final touches for my friend Rev's hen party, or bachelorette, sorry, which we're having this weekend. There's just four of us going up to Whistler. So that's been really cool. I'm gonna do a separate video on that though. And I 
I have promised the girls I'm not going to be like filming our every move all weekend but I'll just like film little clips where I can just to give a little overview and show you the things that I've been sorting. I really hope it's lovely for her. I found some beeswax taper candles by the way. I need to uh, melt the bottoms so they stand a bit straighter in there but don't they look so nice? These holders are just from Amazon as well. So I'll end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're able to and please give this video a thumbs up. It really, really does mean so much to me as I'm just starting out on YouTube. Have a wonderful rest of your week and I will be back here on Thursday. Bye.